Hello guys and welcome, it's DJ Brawl from DJ Gamers Project and today is episode 7 of my Minecraft Let's Play and yeah, I'm just gonna quickly show you what I've done since last episode I've collected a bunch of just really resources and unfortunately died in lava and lost a pickaxe so I've made a new one out of what I've collected just smelting some iron now but yeah Today, we're going to be building the sugar cane farm just up there. But I made an crafting table, enchantment table, even. But I can't use anything because unfortunately I died. So, yeah, but today I'm not going to be building the farm on camera. I'm going to do it all off camera, then go through what I've done with it. So, I've just started now. But, yeah. I'll check back with you guys later. Okay, guys. So, I think I'm about done here now. Uh, I didn't take very long, actually. It was faster than that wee farm. But, yeah, I'll just show you what it does, and then I'll show you how it works. This one is just to stop the water flow, so I can walk up if any problems happen. I sort of made, like, a roof on it style, so it doesn't look too bad. And then this one pushes the pistons there so it'll harvest the top one if it's ready and the second floor one yeah so I'll show you how it works it's very simple not nothing like majorly technical alright this one here these pistons are just them linking down into an inverted place on let me show you inverter here which makes them always off then these two just link up to this one again linking them pistons so very simple and then this one just comes out the lever to along these powering the pistons then across there and along here powering these pistons so it's pretty simple just put the roof on it just make it look a bit better But yeah, now we have a sugarcane farm. So, which is quite cool. We can start getting quite a lot of bookshelves for our enchantment table. Right. So yeah. Now we'll probably just let me just fix this I'll show you what I've done in my mind just get this yeah but I found this huge cave down in my mind which I thought was pretty cool so I'll show you that I'll just put these in the furnace. I didn't get too much more on my tunnel system down in my mine. Just that cave that I found last episode just has a really cool feature to it up above. So yeah, I'll go show you that. If you're wondering why I haven't got my skin on, I don't know why, but it wouldn't let me connect to Minecraft.net, so I have to play offline. But if you're wondering what farm I'm going to build next, is there going to be a mushroom on all my cactus farm? Because with the cactus farm, you can't really decide when it comes out, like the sugarcane and the wheat. It just comes out randomly, so you just have to keep checking it and coming back to it. But, yeah, some people told me to look up in the episode. It wasn't here. Which I missed completely, and it's a good job I came back to it. 
because it looks quite cool and I'm going to be coming here again. But I found a mine shaft with some cave spider spawners which I hope to make some mob traps out of them. But yeah, just look at this place. I just thought it was pretty cool. So I'm going to be using this for something. I don't know what yet. I might just make it all like a glass dome in the middle maybe. So I can come up to it from the surface and have a look at it. But yeah, as you can see I haven't really checked out all of this cave, just a few bits. But yeah, it's quite cool. It's majorly large, this cave. Like, huge. I checked out loads of this mine shaft. That's where I got most of my diamonds and chests. And, yeah, now there's still more, apparently. It's just, a, yeah, I've seen this case by this morning. But, yeah. Ooh, bit lag. I'll probably make a trap with this. But, yeah, for the rest of this episode, I'll probably make a start on the cactus farm. Or the mushroom farm. Probably going to do a cactus farm. I don't know why, but it's just... Actually, nah. I'll do a mushroom farm. Or I might do something with the sheep. Yeah, I'll probably make like a little sheep hut. So yeah, give me a second, and I'll walk back up to the house. Okay, guys, so... I've thought about what I'm going to do with these sheep. I'm going to just put them in a pen in my house probably just coming out here because it's the, just the nearest place to these but yeah it's gonna be just one sheep in every like little container thing that I'm gonna do I've saw this on if you haven't heard of him Doc M 77 is on his world tour that he does like his let's play he's done just like little containers there with a chest and the colored sheet behind it then with the chest it's got like the dyes and the walls in just for like a wool supply really but I don't really know how I'm gonna do it yet I don't know what to make out of I think it's just gonna be wood just to go with the rest of my house or I might make it out of sandstone just the like interior of it so yeah, I'll get some sandstone and yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and yeah, I'm back. I'll have quite a lot of sandstone. I went through my shovel, just getting sand turned into sandstone. So I actually got a diamond one, just to make it a lot faster. But the iron one did most of the work. But yeah, I think I've decided how I'm gonna do it. I think each container is gonna look uh, I think it's gonna go like this yeah we have fences there I actually have fences like that and then it's gonna be a wall then the next one. Then there's going to be a chest there with a 3x3 three three grass area for the sheep to like live on really. It's going to come perfectly out to there. So I'm going to need to somehow put the grass up here. Which is going to be a pain. But it shouldn't be too hard I don't think. I actually need some more grass. But yeah, they're just going to be living in that little container. And then the grass is for them to eat. So then they just regain their wool back. And the good thing is once you dye them, 
they'll regain that color back again which is pretty good I just made my house look really tacky by doing that <laughs> but yeah I'll just build a little platform going down from this 3x3 area like that and hopefully the grass will grow come up here and I can use it to go up to build things like this um I don't know how I'm gonna do the back I might do it 3x2 actually just so it can fit like that and then I'll do half slabs on the top so I need to go down to my crafting bench I actually have quite a lot of dirt that should be enough but yeah as I've got sandstone now I can finish this part because I was lacking on sandstone anyway so it actually helps two things scan it but yeah I think there should be enough room for them to live uh, Uh, then it'll come over. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. It's the grass growing many. Yeah. I don't know how much light it needs, but I'm just gonna put one there. Uh. So yeah, I build a couple containers. And then. Oh. The grass hopefully will be grown by then, so I'll load a sheep in there, and then I think that'll be the end of the episode. So yeah, I'll build a couple of t containers. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So this is the general idea of it. It's just going to be containers like these, on which that's going to be grass. And then I'm going to hide the light in by putting the torches behind the sandstone. But yeah, there's going to be a sign here on every one of them saying what color wool it is for sheep and then there's going to be a chest here on every one of them just to store the wool and the dyes in them and yeah I'm just waiting for this to grow up it's spreading quite slowly oh bit of lag but yeah I think that's going to be about it for today Got quite a lot done. The tree came farm and the start of the the sheep farm, if you want to call it that, the sheep harvester. But yeah, so that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Next episode will be just finishing off the sheep farm. So yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.